Hi everyone, back with another keto recipe, excited sweet and sour chicken, and I can't wait to share the sweet and sour sauce recipe with you. This will serve two to three people, and here's what you will need. One pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast, eggs, coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, sesame seed oil, sugar-free ketchup, soy sauce, stevia in the powder form, coconut flour, xanthian gum, a half cup, a third cup, a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a fourth teaspoon, a fry pan with spatula, and a deep fryer. Start by cooking up your chicken breast in three tablespoons of coconut oil, and then you're just going to cut it up after it's cooked into good-sized chunks, bite-sized pieces, but pretty good size, and then just set it aside to start to cool off. And let's start our sweet and sour sauce. Turn the heat on a medium heat. Now, this is important. Take one teaspoon of sesame seed oil and a fourth teaspoon of the xanthian gum. And you want to whisk this really well until it kind of turns into a glaze. The xanthian gum is all broken down. You don't see any chunks anymore. And then you know it's ready. Then the next step, you're going to add a half cup of the apple cider vinegar, but very slowly pour this in and be wisping it. Then after that, you're going to add a third cup of water, a third cup of the sugar-free ketchup, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and a half cup of the stevia. Be whisping it as you go along. You want to keep whisping it so it doesn't stick and everything comes together really well. You're going to bring this to a boil. Keep whisping it, like I said. Bring it to a boil. Once it's boiled, then you want to turn it down to a simmer and let it just sit, but be stirring in between. You'll see a picture here how it's more of a glaze now. Isn't that beautiful? And boy, it sure tasted like sweet and sour sauce. Now let's take our cooked chicken and we're going to deep fry it. We're going to bread it and deep fry it. Start by taking two cups of coconut oil, add into your deep fryer, turn it on 400, cover and let this heat. While this is heating up, you're going to take two eggs, scramble it in a dish, and you're going to take one cup of the coconut flour. Then you're going to take your bite-sized pieces of chicken that's already been cooked. Remember, already cooked chicken. Run it through as a wash through your um, egg and then put it into your coconut flour to coat it and into your hot oil. You want to cook for about two to three minutes because the chicken's already cooked. You just want to get the outside nice and golden brown and then put it on a plate that's lined with a paper towel to drain. Then you're going to pour all of the chicken into your sweet and sour sauce and you're going to mix this well to coat all of the chicken. You'll see the picture right here. And let me tell you guys, this was delicious. Oh my gosh. Now I made it into two servings. Here's two servings there. It definitely could be three, but I do one meal a day. So here's two servings. And I paired it with my uh, fried rice. I will link that in my Friday's video so you know how to make the fried rice. I can also link it down in this box as well. I do have a recipe on this. But oh my gosh, and I think this whole recipe was eight net carbs a plate and super delicious. Another Chinese dish. Always keep it keto. Keto.